Hey, welcome back to What Jack Has Made. In this video course, we're going to be covering how to build an atomic design influence pattern library. This is a subject that I'm very passionate about, and it's completely changed the way that I approach website development in a modular approach. Throughout this course, we're going to be using a framework called Storybook, and it's going to be used in the context of React, but you can use Storybook in any application you want to, whether it's Vue, or standard HTML, you can bring in the framework to your technology of choice. And so even though the course will focus primarily on React, you can apply the same concepts to any technology of your choice. We're gonna be covering first off what atomic design is and how it will apply to your web design and web development workflow before moving on to building an atom, molecule, organism, template, and then page before finishing off with some particle logic in our system. Now, if you aren't familiar with atomic design or pattern libraries, this will be a great starter course because we're going to be exploring it from start to finish, building a very basic system at first, which will then grow into a living documented system for stakeholders of a project or within your company to view front end components that can be applied in any of your applications. We're going to be focusing mainly on React in this course. So it is a prerequisite that you understand the basics of creating a functional component and what props are, as we'll be using them heavily throughout this course. If you aren't familiar with React, you can still learn a bit more about atomic design by watching the course, as we'll be covering some concepts which aren't focused on technologies, but instead methodologies that you can apply to your development career. Now we're going to be using a hypothetical brand called Celtic Elements which I will be using in a future course as an actual project. But this is a brand which focuses on beauty and spa products. And we're going to be building a front end system, which means that we can use these components in any React context, whether it's a, a Next application or Gatsby application. We can bring these components into the projects when we need them, and it helps us create a consistent layout and look and feel to our systems so that people can associate the applications with the brand. At the end of the course, I'm also going to be showing you how we can deploy our pattern library for free to Netlify and have continuous integration builds, which allow us to continuously deploy our website and our web project when we make changes to the pattern library. And so you can automatically update your pattern library and share it with other people on your team, and they can access it at a URL for free on Netlify. 